Hi everybody, I'm getting ready to head back to Disneyland for the evening and the night and I'm taking with me my new uh, Canon 50mm f.8 what is it, f1.8 lens and with my Canon SL2 camera so first thing you need to know is uh, the SL2 is a crop censored camera so when somebody says they have a 50mm prime lens in their hand that works out 1.6 so it's actually an 80 millimeter lens this lens has no stabilization um, but it should at the f 1.8 it should do really good in the dark it'll be uh, too close for a lot of things but let's see how it does let's get going hi everybody so right now the temporary place the tram picks you up is inside the parking structure on the lowest level and uh, the F1.8 is doing a really good job in this low light. So now we're on the tram and we have an empty row so I'm sitting as far away as I can from her. Look at that great bokeh behind her. That nice blurred out vision. Um, the lens is doing a really good job here. And here's the monorail coming overhead. Um, the sun has set. It's a cloudy day. It's dusk. And here I'm panning down. Um, doing really good. Here's Disneyland City Hall. And I pan down. And the camera uh, gets inside really well. And then here's Lisa. Um, if you've been to Disneyland, you know the fire station is really dark. So this is doing a great job. Um, remember this is a uh, handheld with no image stabilization. So the camera is doing a really good job here. And look at this beautiful picture as the ducks fly in. And here's Chippendale. Uh, look at that bokeh behind them and Donald Duck. Here I'm focusing on Lisa, then up to that lady. And then here, watch Lisa, she comes closer and the background blurs as she gets sharper in the image. It's beautiful on there and I pan up to Adventureland. You can see the skies are cloudy and getting darker. The 50mm f1.8 lens is doing really good. This is the shooting gallery and it's really dark inside the shooting gallery. And here we are on Pirates of the Caribbean moving on a boat. That was the restaurant, as you know, very dark and the entrance into Pirates of the Caribbean really dark. And here we go. Look how great this lens is doing on this scene. This is a very dark scene. Usually the eye only catches this during the uh, lightning flashes. This lens is doing a great job. And I think this scene here is actually better than the eye sees. So remember on a 15, uh, I'm sorry, a 50 millimeter lens uh, on this crop sen sensor camera, this is actually 80 millimeters. So it's really close up. Um, and you'll find in other scenes that it's too close for some things, but this is really great. I don't even think I've ever seen that one guy before. And here at the end is the pirate, the parrot that greets you. And his spotlight is even... Oh, here we go. This here is Star Wars Land and the scaffolding. Look how high up they're building Star Wars Land. That's the only reason I filmed that. Not The lens isn't doing very good on that fast roller coaster. And here comes Casey Jr. Circus Train. In the dark now, the sun has set. It's completely dark outside. And this lens does pretty good on motion, just not on real fast motion. Focusing in there on those little monkeys in the cage. And here we are on the storybook land boats. 
heading into Montrose the Whale. Very dark at night. Very good detail. A little grainy back there in the dark. This is Toontown Station. This lens is doing a really good job. And here we are going through the, dinos the dinosaurs on the train right before you get to uh, Main Street Station. And here the lens is definitely too close. Um, 50 millimeter lens, actually 80 millimeters on a crop sensored camera that I'm using the Canon SL2. The picture's doing really, really well. It's capturing really, really well. But it is uh, too zoomed in. The lens is too tight of a view. Some of these shots are excellent. The color is really good. And mind you, this lens has zero stabilization. So I'm handheld moving on a train. If I ever get a gimbal, I think this stuff will look really, really good. And look at these hitchhiking ghosts inside the Haunted Mansion. And that's actually better than you see with your eyes. <laughs> 